Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Welcome back to a video about Daisy Expansion AI. And in this video, I wanted to talk about how you can use the object patrols, type patrol in um, Expansion AI. Now, these are the patrols where the little AI NPCs don't wander around following waypoint. They spawn in on top of a particular class name of object. So it's easy to get fooled by that because I know I did to start off with. So what you can do, let me just um, turn the day on. What you can do is you can tell uh, Expansion AI to spawn uh, NPCs in around certain things. So for example, we have the pump. Here we have the uh, deer uh, hunting tower. There's the other type of deer hunting tower. Here we have the feed shack. Um, here we have a little shed and here we have the guard house note how with this particular one some AI have spawned on the top here we have the uh, camouflage watchtower see the guys are spawned to the left here we have uh, a kind of an ordinary house you'd find in a town and the guys have spawned there as well and then over here we've got a guard house which has kind of sunk into the ground, I've put that wrong, and the uh, the ladies have spawned behind it. And then over here, we have a military tent. And again, I, when I was placing this, I placed it in the air by mistake, but as you can see, the uh, AI have spawned. So this is an incredibly powerful tool because it allows you to, at a stroke, spawn in a load of AI across the map in very interesting locations. However, they must be of the, uh, and this can be a bit confusing, the building object type object. So you can't make them spawn in on loot. So, so that's something I tried to do stuff with. I thought, ah, you could have, if you um, if you change, say, class name to M4A1, that wherever an M4A1 spawned in, you'd have an AI um, uh, spawn in with it. Or, for example, I tried it with fruit and chickens. So the idea is when a pair um, was spawned in on the map, a soldier would spawn in with it as well. Now the idea wasn't to have soldiers guarding pairs on the ground or guarding chickens, but it was to it was a way to have kind of a, a random way of having soldiers spawn in around the map. But you can't spawn object patrols like that. It must be something that is like a structure on, on the map, um, like a static item uh, or a land item that sort of thing, um, the sort of items you see here. So for example, if we take this uh, bit here, so the land, the well one, if you add this um, object patrol to your server, oh, where are we here, this one here, um, it means that at every single well on your map, you can spawn in an AI or a group of AIs, it's completely up to you, and they will spawn in. And the really cool thing about this is that the AI will fight zombies and other AI who aren't in the same factions if they're not friendly. And so you get this really amazing situation where you'll be wandering around, you know the server is empty, and you'll start to hear some shooting, and you're like, what, what on earth's going on? And it's the AI shooting the zombies and having a battle with them or with the other AI. And if you can imagine, say, a server that wasn't empty, you knew people were on it, you wouldn't know, is, is that players that are shooting each other? Is it the AI that are shooting each other? And all this sort of stuff. And so by using these um, object patrol settings, as I say, you can just put that in and at every single deer stand across the map, these AI are going to spawn in. Now remember... These AI don't really wander around very much. They just kind of stand there. Um, and then what you need to do is, that as, as you're coming towards them, they'll spawn into existence. And as you walk away, if you don't interfere with them and they don't see you, they'll spawn out. Um, but they will come chasing after you, or they will come chasing after zombies or, the, or animals or, or other factions as they go along. But the critical thing, as I said, is it when you, when you use these... Um, object patrols it must be like a a, a building object you know a, not a builder object as in from the mod but you know like a land object a static object like a pump like a building like a deer stand and it looks to me with the testing that i've done so far 
is that they don't spawn in exactly on top of the uh, the item. They'll just spawn fairly close to it or slightly off to the side of it. So there must be a little bit of code that's making sure, apart from <laughs> here. But I quite like the fact that the AI is on the roof because you wouldn't be expecting that, would you? Well, you know, maybe you would. Um, so there we go. So that, my friends, is how you use the object patrols and expansion AI to spawn in uh, uh, NPCs uh, all over the place. So there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have it, like. If you've got any other questions, put them down below. And of course, I will see you again soon.